Hello again there folks, here Cat here. Last time we made three summon spirit packs, so now we're moving on to the light one. I forgot that this happens right after you get whatever one you did where it's just light left. Because in the GameCube version, this whole scene doesn't happen at all. So I forgot about it. Hey, let's decide what our plans are before we make a pact with the last spirit. True, though it isn't the sort of issue we're likely to settle immediately. Assuming the worlds do split, we've no idea whether to travel between them will be possible. It's impossible to extrapolate the exact probability given the lack of data. Not high is all I can say. Why don't we take a brief tour of Tethayala? The final summon spirit resides in Silveron. It is possible Sheena will be unable to return after forming the pact. Right, like I said, I'd like to say good uh, to speak to everyone in Mizuho. That's our, there's our plan. We'll do a loop of Tethayala, then head out. Use this time to make up your mind. Who's coming with us to Silveron? Who wants to stay in Tethayala, you mean? Yes. Where shall we live? Silveron team. Of course you would want them to stay, they're your friends. Genius would want to stay because Silverant's all he knows, he wants to stay with what's familiar. But Rain is an adult and she has memories of not Silverant. So it's a little more complicated. Whee! Where am I going? Oh yeah, we need to pop by Altessa too. Genus, welcome back! And Rain too! Hi everybody! What are you doing here? Mythos was teaching me about different clouds. Yeah, you can tell what the weather's gonna be like or if a storm's coming just by the cloud shapes. That's amazing! Mythos, you're amazing! <laughs> Stop it. I bet you already knew that anyway. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but I went to school. You figured it out on your own. That's seriously incredible. Seriously, you're gonna make me blush. Anyway, what brings you by? Taking a little break? Uh... Not quite. Actually, we're... What? Then you guys aren't gonna be able to- I'm not gonna be able to play with you guys anymore? I won't see Genus ever again? We don't know that for sure yet. I apologize if you can hear that, my cat is playing with a plastic bag. I keep trying to record him, but every time he seems to notice, he just stops. We don't know that for sure yet, but there's a chance, so now we're all deciding who wants to wind up where. No way! You can't leave me! We're friends! Can't we just leave everything like it is? No, Mythos. Silverant and Tethayala would keep hurting one another. They'd both be destroyed. Yeah, you're right. I know. I'm I'm sorry for making a fuss. You're allowed to be upset. Hey, wait! Hi, Altessa. What happened? Mythos just ran by. The boy looked distraught. I think the news that he might not be able to ever see Genus again hit him pretty hard. Lloyd and his friends intend to separate Silverant and Tethayala. I see. And so you would suspect travel between the worlds will become difficult. Do you disagree? 
No, I suspect that's probably right. The two worlds will be cleft apart with no contact between them ever again. Just like the let just like in the legends, we'll never be able to visit the people of Tetheala way up on the moon. Wait, that was Silveront that moved to the moon. Tetheala's the moon from their perspective, just like ours is Silveront. Mythos seemed really sad. M maybe maybe I should don't tell me you're thinking of staying here, Genus. I don't know. I'm sorry. I thought I had made my peace, but I'm sorry. It's okay, you still got time. That's why we're making a tour. <coughs> Since we're right next to it. I would like to visit my daddy's grave. Well, yeah, it's right there. Nothing remains for me here. But if I leave this land, no one will be left to look after him. Prasea. It is curious. I am free of any physical bonds, but my heart feels tied down to this place. I know the feeling. It's not easy for anybody to leave their world behind. I know I'd be torn if I was in your shoes. Prasea, if you just... If you decide you want to stay here in Tethyala, you can. It just means that we'll have to say our goodbyes before forming the pact with the last summon spirit. I hope you won't, but... But if that's what you really want, then that's what you should do. I'll consider it. Thank you. Please, continue to the next destination. I will be alright. Yeah, next place. Please allow me to visit Alicia. No, you're not allowed. I have a responsibility to oversee the well-being of the Lord's Renault Company, but severing the worlds is necessary to avoid creating more tragedies like Alicia. I can't simply choose one over the other. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be about which is more important, Regal. I think coming with us and staying here to guide Tethe all of are both equally important. There's no wrong choice. I wonder which path Alicia and Daddy would want me to choose. I'm sure they would want you to follow your heart, Prisea. No, I'm sure that they do want you f want that for you. My heart. Same goes for you, Regal. Forget about which one's worthy or whatever. What is your gut telling you? A fair question. I'll consider it. President's job. stuff. I should report in to Taiga. Ah, oh, Lloyd, the news has reached my ears. I am told you were prepared to sep you were prepared to separate the world immediately. People in Mizuho are planning to move to Silverant, right? I fear that we've I fear now that we've provoked the ire of the king. No place for us remains in Tetheala. I can see no cause to cling I see no cause to cling to this land of sentiment out of sentiment. However, huh? He got some trouble with the plan? 
We lack the time. I fear the deadline has come upon has come upon us too far too soon. We've no choice but to remain. What? Everyone's still out on their missions. We've got people inside the Renegades, people in Maltokyo, some in Silverhan even, thanks to the Renegades. I have resolved that those left in Silverhan are to follow Sheena. I have faith that she will do her best. Do what? I have faith she will do what is best. Wait, so does that mean that you're coming to Silverhan too, Sheena? Well, obviously. What, were you planning to make the pact with the Summon Spirit without me? Staying here just isn't an option. And you're alright with that? I don't see how I have much of a choice. I can't leave the world to suffer, and I won't abandon you guys. We will leave this place eventually. We will travel to, so to some new corner of Tethiala. Somewhere beyond the King's Eye. I'm sorry, I made a promise to you and all, and now... Our agreement stands. Some of us will live in Silverond. Don't worry about it, Lloyd. As long as I'm teaching the Chief's Igiguri style ninjutsu, it'll be home. We'll still be the people of Mizuho. You'll have kept your promise. Now go, leave us. We shall be fine. Go, and cleave the world apart as quickly as, as you're able. Ugh, I can't read. And to do that, we need to know who's staying and who's going. Let's hurry to the next town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might we be able to visit the Academic Resources Building? Sure. This country's research facilities are phenomenal. Yeah, seems like it. <laughs> you sound so fascinated. Uh, no, I... Sorry, I guess it's just not my thing. It may be... It may not be mine, either. Soon. Severing Tethiala from Silverand will mean an end to any research into its history. I'll be cut off from my own past. Professor. I apologize. I'm sure that the others who actually grew up here are going through a great deal more than I am now. Let's hurry to the next site. I mean, you're allowed to just be, like, upset that you'll be cut off from your homeland and never be able to actually like explore it or learn about it. That's not unreasonable. I'm heading off for a walk. Well, what do you think? Any impressions of Tethayala? It's amazing. Everything's so... I don't know, advanced. Yep, including the divide between the rich and the poor. Yeah. I'm not alone in having my entire life planned out for me from birth. Yeah, pretty much everyone's life's prospects hinge on their social status. Let me tell you, it's suffocating. Do you hate it? Tethiala? Mm. No, I don't think I do, at any rate. I love it, warts and all. Hey, it's Zelos! What do you want, ankle biter? I don't know, I think it's funny he calls the kid ankle biter. If we catch you, we get a reward. And you think you can bring me in? Nuh-uh, I'm not gonna catch you at all. I'm letting you go, so give me something. Pretty little mooches never grow up to be anything, child. Assuming they even make it to adulthood. Ah, he <laughs> Well, don't get getting caught, Zalos, bye-bye. Fan of yours? I wonder. Anyway, let's move on to the next city. I'm good on Maltokyo. I think that's it. Yeah. What about everyone else? Do you want to stick with us? It's too big of a decision to make all at once, huh? Why don't we give them a night to sleep on it? Right, that sounds good. Colette and I will set up camp outside Maltokyo. Come, come once you've made your decision. It's been a while since it's been just the two of us. No kidding. Everybody's off on their own little corner of the world, thinking about what to do with their lives. You think Genus and the Professor will stay in Tatayama? Dots. And so those Perseia and Regal have... even more of a tie to this place. All of them could decide to stay. Yeah. 
makes you get pretty lonely from here on out. Well, that's their call to make. I'm supposed to be the Chosen, but there's nothing I can do for any of them. Even Porchina's leaving behind most of the people of Mizuho behind. I'm good at reading. Leaving for Silverod all alone has to be hard for her. I just feel so impotent. Because you are. You're not. Thank you, Lloyd, but... You're as strong as any of us. We all have our tiny bits we can do. Sure, none of us are all powerful, but pooling our strength together has gotten us this far, hasn't it? Yeah. We're all allies in this, and we're friends. Even once the world gets split, whichever side we're on, that won't change. We'll all keep working together to build the worlds that we've been fighting for. As long as we keep that fight up, we'll be a team. No matter how far apart we are, we'll still have that connection. You're right, we're friends. A little distance can't change that. Right. So whatever everyone chooses, that's fine by me. I've decided to shut up and accept it. Yeah, that's all you really can do. I feel the same way. We have to respect everyone's decisions. If everyone's decided, let's hear your answer now. I I'm going to Silveron. I talked... I, I talked it out with Mythos. He's not happy, but he understands. Plus, I promised that I'd stick around for the long haul, Lloyd. I will do the same. Silverant is about to embark on a long rebuilding effort. I suspect there will be a need for a few good teachers. Yeah? I'm on Team Silverant, you already knew that. I said my goodbyes to everyone in Mizuho this morning. What about you, Mr. President? I left the company in George's hands. I ask that you allow me to aid in reassuring, or in, ugh, in assuring that the tragedies end with Alicia. I fear my strength is limited at best, but what strength I have, I offer to you, Lloyd. I will. To be honest, it is still unclear to me what choice is correct. But one thing is clear. If you had not come into my life, time for me would still remain at a standstill. I will give you what remains of my newfound time to you all. Zelos? Ugh, seriously? All of you are choosing exile in some backwater? On purpose? I take it that means... The minute the world separates, it'll be no need for Chosen. I'll be a free man. May as well explore my freedom in the arms of the Honeys and Silver Aunt I have yet to meet. Then we're all together? Seems that way. Alright, let's go guys. We've got a world to cut into. And I have a plenty- I have a planet of primitive barbarians to try to civilize. Stop with the primitive barbarians already! No, never. So before we find you, Nova, we're gonna pop in here real quick. Because there's something that Dirk gives us if that we are gonna need. If you don't get it from Dirk, you can also get it from, uh, Tabitha. Dad! Oh, Lloyd, what is it? What's wrong? I just kinda wanted to see you. Oh, what, you homesick? It's not like that. Mind you, I'm happy to see you, Dad. Since you've come all the way here, take these- take some of these with you. X-Sphere 3, Model Sphere, Onion! X-Sphere Shard. What's this junk? Yeah, there may be some junk mixed in there, Dad. What? Your son comes by to visit you and you give him junk? Shut up, you'll make- if you make fun of junk, you'll regret it. There's useful stuff in there. Ah, sheesh. Well, anyway, rest here for tonight. Yeah, Dad, I will. Thanks, Dirk. Aska, fascinating. There is Unova. Unova. Nova. Hello. Hmm, what is it? We found the linkage tree, but we'd like to reconfirm the information we heard before. 
see, then take a look at the memo. To find the Lincoln Tree, the Lincoln Tree is thought to be somewhere that cannot be reached by foot. If the Lincoln Tree is dead, we must strengthen the healing arts, calling forth the tree's will to live and nourish the ground. Just as we remembered it, then, to sum it up, looking at our current status, we need to re revive the Lincoln Tree and carry the sound of the wind. As for the wind to carry the sound, leave it to me. We have Sylph, the summon spirit of wind, on our side. What are. How are we going to revive the Linket tree? We have the Linket nut that we've received from that child. If we accelerate its growth with the next sphere and strengthen my healing arts with the unicorn horn, then maybe we can manage something. We may need the power of the Summon Spirit of Earth as well, since we need to nourish the ground. Summon Spirit of Earth is my job. Just leave it to me. What about the X-Sphere? No problem, we got one. Then the only thing left is the melody. I wonder if it'll make a pretty sound. That's one thing we don't know. No problem. I can do anything. I can't do anything with this little nut, but as long as it's revived, the Linket Tree has big nuts on it. I can make a flute. We just need one like the one Mythos had, right? Lloyd, you can make that? I'll show you what my what skills my dad taught me. And we have Perseia, too. Yes, I will help. Okay, let's go find the Linket Tree. Fascinating. Whoa. I see now. That's impressive the way you found the ru how the rules works. Would you mind taking us with you to call for when you call forth Aska? We don't have... But you won't all fit on the Riards. Uh, don't worry about that. If the glowing bird is Aska and I make a pact with him, then I can call him forth any time. I'll show Aska to you myself. I see. Haha. -ha. It would be great. Please show him to me sometime. I have made note of the information you've assembled. If you want to talk, if you want to hear it, come talk to me anytime. Okay, let's go. Can I just leave? Or are you going to say, we need to read the memo? Okay. So, unfortunately, even after you form the pact, you cannot show it to Unova. Why do we keep calling him Unova? That he's not a Pokemon region. You can't show it to Professor Nova. That's just not a thing. Even if you, when you find him after making the pact, you just can't. Which is unfortunate. Professor, Sheena, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, anytime. Get playing. Okay, Professor Sheena, go for it. Right, stand back. Here I go. I call upon the servant of Mother Earth. Bing. What is it? Gnome, please make this ground healthy again. Mm, okay. Yeah, noises. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay, Rain. Right. Unicorn Horn, lend me your power. Resurrection! Bring back the soul from purgatory. Wow, the Linket Tree revived! Whoa, Rain, you're fantastic! Lloyd, Persea, the rest is up to you. I understand, Lloyd. Yeah, how about these? Let, it'll take about a night, so just wait a little bit. Right. Genus, here. Lloyd, Persea, it's perfect! Time for the last step! Genus, Chino. Yeah! You got it. I saw you pull out that pan flute again. Look. Bird. So this is Aska. Who calls me? Aska, we need your power. Please form a pact with me. Pact? Where is Luna? We haven't made a pact with Luna yet, but we need you. I do not want to form a pact unless Luna is with me. Then, well, let's form a pact with Luna. Then I shall go to Luna. Farewell. Thanks, that's fine. Thanks, Aska. Until then, until that time. Bye. Flap, flap. Sheena, was that okay? He said he'll make a pact. There's no reason for it to be right now, right? Indeed, Luna and Aska are both summoned spirits of light. 
If Luna is performing the role as the Mana Link, then there is no need to attempt to force a pact with Aska here. The only thing left is to go to Luna and officially make the pact. We'll be tested by both of them at the same time. I guess it's unavoidable. Well, whatever will be, it will be. Okay, let's go. That cat stole my ocarina. How many people remember that? To the Tower of Mana. I'll cut to when I'm at the top of it, I guess. Give the flute to Mythos. Lazy people. Yeah, fourth wall break. Oh, hey, Kratos. Stop. Funny meeting you here. Kratos, don't get in our way. Hear me out. The Daris Carlon core system just finished calculating its answer. If you form the pact with a summoned spirit, the protection around the Great Seed will be completely lost. And that's exactly what we desire. Oh, hey, Ewan. You're here, too. Don't you understand? What you're hoping for will not happen. Silence! Do you think we'll pass up this opportunity? Lloyd! Leave him to me. Go now. Form the pact with the summoned spirit of life. Okay. You have fun, I guess. This is it. The protection around the Great Seed will finally fall after this pact. We're counting on you, Sheena. You got it. Time for the sparkles. Sparkle, sparkle. Sheena, I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Where is Asuka? He'll come. He promised. I see. Then all is well. I shall test thy worthiness to wield my power. Bird. Mm, I never know who to show me thy true strength. Go after first because both of them are a pain in their ass. Pain in the ass in their own respective ways. Probably go after Luna. Because she has silence on one of her attacks. That and also, you know, Photon. No, I don't want to attack the bird. You do attack Luna. Get out of here. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Ow. <sighs> yeah, that was the attack that can silence. Limited ray? Yeah, limited ray. Yep, see it silenced uh Zillos. Play a panacea bottle, we'll work fine. <sighs> Aska is just a pain in the ass because of his uh his feather thing. Oh. Yeah, we can't have rain be silenced. That is not a thing that we can have. Yep, heal up. Ow. Ow. God, you're a pain in the ass, Luna. Ow. Stupid bird. Well, at least you didn't get a silence this time. Please don't kill Zelos. I can heal myself, if need be. Ow. Ow. Yo, Sheena. Um... You're just eating these guys. Ooh. I am almost dead. Gonna shove one of these into my face. Who you gonna summon? Gnome? Are you summoning Gnome again? Yep. Sure is summoning Gnome again. Girl! Get out of here. Yeah, having one of them down then makes it a lot easier. And it, like I said, it's always a, okay, well, who's the more annoying one? It's kind of a toss-up. Ow. Ooh, Sheena. Let's uh not have you die. We're actually doing pretty good having nobody die so far. Let's keep it that way. How you doing, 35? Hate his wings. His wings are so big. Can I get some of that? Nope. Ow. I ran right into it. Good job, me. It's almost down. Ow. You win. Thank you, Sheena. Yay. Thou art powerful. Now state thy vow upon which thou wilt base our path. I vow to germinate the Great Seed in order to realize the true regeneration of both worlds. We accept thy vow. Our power is thine. Thanks. Yeah, Topaz. You did it! No! Not Rumble Rumble. Yeah, anime. I'm not sure why it's destroying Palma Costa. Palma Costa is nowhere near the Tower of Salvation. Because that was Palma Costa.
Well, that's bad. What's happening? Oh my god. Is that the giant Carlon tree? That person. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. That sure is the giant Carlon tree. Martel. Martel? That woman about to be consumed by the tree is Martel? She reminds me of someone. She reminds me of. Why would Martel reappear with that giant grotesque tree? I was afraid this would happen. What do you mean? Having lost the stability afforded by the protection of the summon spirits, the Great Seed has gone out of control. No! The purpose of the summon spirits was to isolate the Great Seed from the outside world and prevent it from growing. That was only half of it. The two worlds were forced out of phase by Yggdrasil. They should have drifted apart from each other and have been consumed by the Void. But this was prevented from happening because the Great Seed was placed in the center between the two worlds. I don't need a lecture from you to know that. The Great Seed is constantly being pulled upon from both worlds as they try to separate from one another. It's a miracle that this delicate balance held up for even this long. Wait, so the Mana Link served as a cage to contain the Great Seed in the space between the two worlds? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And because you provided the unstable Great Seed with mana, It germinated in a twisted form and has gone out of control. It's even engulfed Martel. Who cares why this happened? I want to know what's going to happen if we can't stop this thing. If what Kratos says is true, then Silveron will be consumed and destroyed by the Great Seed. And if Silveron is destroyed, Tethayala will be destroyed as well, as it is linked by the holy ground of Karlon and the otherworldly gate. Then everyone will die. Everyone, except that twisted tree. And the angels that live on Daris Carlon. We have to do something! Well, duh. But what can we do? Ewan, how do you plan to rectify this situation? We can cut off the mana flow and stop the seed from receiving any more mana. But that won't subdue the giant tree. The process has already begun. Is the giant tree going crazy like that in Tetheala too? Highly unlikely. Although I imagine they are feeling some effects, such as earthquakes. That makes sense. Because Colette activated the process of world regeneration, the summon spirits of Silveront are now active. Therefore, the giant tree was drawn over here by Silveront's summon spirits. Correct. The summon spirits exchange their respective roles of yin and yang each time a chosen's quest for world regeneration succeeds. Currently, the summon spirits of Silveront are carrying out the role of yang by providing the mana, but because the giant tree has overabsorbed Silveront's mana, it has gone out of control. If that's the case, couldn't we neutralize it by blasting it with the power of the opposing summon spirits? Whoa, boy! You actually understood what we were talking about? Thanks, Genus. Shut it, Genus. Professor once said that the negative and positive of a magnet neutralize each other. This is kind of the same thing, right? Mm. That's not quite right, Lloyd. But nonetheless, it's a clever idea coming from you. Even if we did decide to try and set the summon spirits of Tetheala nice against squeaky. it, how are we going to go about doing that? We can't get close to that crazy thing the way it is now. The mana cannon. Mana cannon? That machine Rodile was building? We were actually manipulating Rodile into building that. Before the mana link started to disappear, we planned to have Rodile destroy the Tower of Salvation. What would that accomplish? So you're suggesting we feed the mana of Tetheala's summon spirits into the mana cannon and fire it at the giant tree. <sighs> I suppose there's no better option right now. First, we need to shut off the current flow of mana to the tree. It'll be too late if the tree grows any larger. Then here's the plan. You, I'm going to pretend I don't know who you've been working with or what you've been doing. In exchange, you're going to order the renegades to stop firing mana at the tree immediately. Meanwhile, Lloyd's group will head for the mana cannon. All right. Kaboom. It's not possible, sir. Forsistus has executed our Asalia Ranch infiltration team. What does that mean? The Asalia Ranch is still operational. We had people working undercover switch over the mana flow. In other words, we have to infiltrate the place right now and stop the flow. Then I shall go. You. 
Are you suggesting we should send you, our enemy, to do this by yourself? I'll send some of my men. Preparations for the mana camp. The shutdown of the mana reactors throughout the world. There are too many things we need the renegades to do. You don't have enough troops to do everything. I'll go. Wait, what are you saying? We have to head for the mana cannon. You and the renegades can take care of the mana cannon. Yeah, you're really the only one that needs to be at the mana cannon. We can't do shit otherwise. Kratos and the rest of us will infiltrate the Isalia Ranch. Fire the mana cannon when we give you the word. You wouldn't be able to trust the signal if it came from Kratos alone, right? Well, that's true, but... Is it about Chocolat? That's right. Chocolat is held at the Isalia Ranch. She sure is. Lloyd, you remembered your promise. All right. We'll leave it to you then. Don't let us down. Let's go, guys. I'm sure you're here squeaky meowing. She wants attention. She's gonna have to wait until I'm done. Rumble, rumble. Oh, no. You, you shouldn't be running around during an earthquake. It's really dangerous. You're gonna fucking fall over. I mean, you're safe probably outside, but... Well, see, at least the Mizuho people are staying still. No, no! Did the guy clip through that old man? Gasp. Is something wrong, Mythos? Uh, no, I just thought I heard Genus' voice. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit! Look out! Mythos! Mar. Oh, it got flattened. Why did you bring me along? You don't need me in order to stop the mana reactor. Just beca because I don't trust Crucius. It just happens that this time, our goals, your goals, and those of the renegades coincide, so we don't know what's going to happen next. It's easier to keep an eye on you if you're the close by. I see. A wise de decision. Words are hard. How are we going to get in? The gate's closed. I'll jump down from the cliff and open the door. No, let me go. I can simply fly over the gate like this. Well, so could Colette, but... Colette's pretty fucking useless. Whoosh. Enemies. Grab a thing. In the GameCube version, the first time you run in here, that chest is not there. I needed more. But I'm gonna run in here. Because there's immediately a save circle. And I am going to call that here. Like, subscribe, and all that noise. We'll see you in the next one, folks. Later.